Yeah, here at uh, you were pull out some, like, the Tungsten <laughs> Mine. <laughs> This apex peak Tripod. in the background exactly and we've found the actual machinery now these fellas are going to explain exactly how this thing worked this is matt and jared matt how does this thing work the rock comes from there goes through here ends up there it starts with the fleeb you rub the fleeb <laughs> clockwise <laughs> that creates a splooger the splooger goes in the in the wham tack <laughs> you've got enough splooger in the wham tack then you put it in the tower uh-huh after that, and basically, after it takes care of itself <laughs> yeah. after it comes out of the tower. I'm sure that there's a video sense. of a working one. Are one we of these sure things. This is a steam donkey? Yeah. No, no. We don't even know. I like the word steam donkey, though. It's a piston, <laughs> yeah, whether it's a steam donkey or a steam mule. Uh huh. We know nothing. We're, we yeah. don't even know how this all got up here. Like, what carried that thing up there? That's what I just predicted. This one wheel would require at least two horses or something. Two donkeys for one steam donkey? For one wheel of the fucking steam donkey. Okay. Wow. Did I say a thousand pounds? For a wheel? Oh, yeah. The pretty steam damn is pretty heavy. Six inches by three inches of solid steel. It's pretty heavy. There's also a cabin up here somewhere. The old miner's cabin, I guess. Our route is going to be this way through the pass. This is Apex and Cathedral Lake beyond it somewhere our plan in the Pesatan Wilderness area. Let's take a look at this thing over here. The old chimney. Everything was steam powered here, we know that. And all of these boilers and heat exchangers. This thing was probably working 80 years ago or so. All of these piles are tailings that came out of the mines. The mines have all been plugged up. We found a few of them. But the ore was tungsten, which um, I don't know what they were using that for back in the day. I know that it used to be used in the filaments of light bulbs before LEDs. So who knows what it is, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing that it's so far and so remote and pretty massive. Here, let's have one, one look at this machine. <clears throat> anyway, we got a few more days of messing around out here. We'll see what else we can find out here in the Pesatan Wilderness. <laughs>